Ready, set, prep. Supporting your child's health and development. There are many services that support children's development, including children with developmental delays and additional needs. But where do you go and what do you do if your child might need a little or a lot of extra help? How do you even know if your child might need some extra support to reach their full potential? The best place to start is by visiting your local maternal and child health service. This is a free service to all Victorian families with children from birth to school age. The Maternal and Child Health Service is a free service. We're here to provide information, guidance and support to families and children. There are 10 main key ages and stages from birth right up until three and a half. The three and a half year old check is quite an important check before they start school. At this appointment, your child's growth, vision, hearing and overall health and development will be checked and your nurse will give you information about starting kindergarten. If you have arrived in Australia and your child has not yet started primary school, you can still visit the service for free. Maternal and child health nurses can make referrals for your child if needed. They can also refer parents who may need some additional support. Attending your maternal and child health appointments Checking in with your GP and talking to other health professionals is a great way to check your child's health and development. You can also talk to your early years educator if your child attends childcare or kindergarten. Kindergarten teachers are trained in early education and understand childhood development. As we spend time with your child, we can often pick up on how individual children are developing. We watch how they speak, play, behave and look at their independence and physical skills. There are a number of different services that can provide assessment and therapy to children before they start school. I'm a speech pathologist and I see children who might need that extra bit of support putting words together to form sentences, who might have unclear speech or who have difficulty following directions. An occupational therapist, they see children to help them develop their independent skills, so things like dressing themselves or toileting by themselves and also to help them develop skills like fine motor skills. So they might be things like drawing or cutting with scissors. They can also help you understand your child's sensory preferences. By consulting with our team psychologist, we can help support children who have difficulty managing their feelings and emotions, and also children who might need a bit of help building relationships with others. In some cases, you might meet one of us or you might meet the whole team. You can find us at our local community health centres. To link in with our teams, you can speak to your maternal and child health nurse, your GP or your kindergarten teacher to help make a referral. Otherwise, you can refer yourself. NDIS has now come into the early childhood sector. Children can access a variety of early childhood intervention providers once they have received an NDIS plan. I'm part of Mary Kids Early Childhood Intervention Team. We provide services to families who have children who have disabilities or have a delay. To receive the NDIS, the children must be an Australian citizen. They must have a permanent or humanitarian visa. They must live in an area where the NDIS is available. For more information about services and supports that can help your child reach their full potential, you can visit the following websites.